Welcome to our video guide for the Extrify K5 Compact. Let's start by connecting the keyboard. The K5 is a plug and play keyboard. Connect the cable to the USB-C port on the keyboard and then plug the other end into the USB-A port on your computer. Settings and functions. The K5 features a wide range of settings with no need for software. All settings are made directly on the keyboard by pressing the function key, FN, plus the key for each setting. RGB LED settings. Out of the box, the keyboard is set to USB 2 mode. If you are plugging it into a USB 3 port, make sure to switch to the USB 3 mode, press and hold the function key, plus the USB 2 slash 3 key for 2 seconds. Hold the function key to see which LED mode you're currently using. Tip. Your custom color settings are found in KLED mode. For more information on how to set your own colors, see the change individual key colors and change background colors. Press function plus the LED on slash off, which happens to be caps lock to turn the illumination on or off. Press function plus one of these keys displayed repeatedly to increase or decrease the brightness of the LED illumination. Press function plus the key with the fingerprint repeatedly to switch between six different typing effects. The seventh mode will turn this typing effect off. Tip. Decrease the brightness of the regular LED illumination to make these typing effects more visible. Press function plus the wave key repeatedly to switch between seven different wave effects. Press function plus the K LED key to show your own LED settings that you've made using the K color and BG color keys. To change the color of all keys, press function plus the BG color and then select the color from the palette that appears in the keys. Press spacebar for more color options. Whenever you want to see your selected color on the keyboard, press the function key plus the K LED key to show your own LED settings. Change individual key colors. 1. Press function plus K color. 2. When the function key is blinking, press the keys that you would like to change the color of, then press the function key again. 3. A color palette appears on the keys. Choose the color that you want on your selected keys. Tip. Press the spacebar repeatedly for more color options. 4. The keys that you selected are now in your chosen color. When pressing function plus the K mask key, only the keys in which you have colored using the K color will work. All other keys will be disabled. Press function plus one of these two keys repeatedly to increase or decrease the speed of the LED effects. Press function plus the clear all key to clear your LED settings. These are visible in the K LED mode. Macros. Record and play macros. To record a macro, press and hold the function key plus one of the macro keys, M1 through 5, for two seconds. One of the lights in the right corner will start blinking, indicating that it is recording. Enter the sequence of the keys that you want to record and then press the function key again. Your keystrokes are now saved to the selected macro button. To play a macro, press the function key plus the M1 through M5 keys on which your macro is saved. Press function plus one of these keys repeatedly to increase or decrease the speed of the last played macro.
Media controls. Press function in combination with these keys for media controls such as stop, play, mute, or volume control. F1 through F12. For F1 through F12, press function in combination with these keys. Control the mouse cursor. Press function in combination with these keys to control the mouse cursor, scroll wheel, and the left and right click. Factory reset. To reset the keyboard and clear all settings, press and hold function plus the factory reset for two seconds. Other settings. Press function plus the 6 slash N key to switch between N key rollover and 6 key rollover. Standard and recommended for the keyboard is N key mode, which gives you full functionality and N key rollover, meaning all keys can be pressed at the same time without losing a single keystroke. 6 key rollover allows for detection of 6 simultaneous key presses and limits the functionality, but can be required to use the keyboard in BIOS, certain bank logins, and more. Function plus this key opens the calculator on your computer. Function plus one of these two keys, K fast or K slow, is used to increase or decrease the key release response speed. Fast is recommended for maximum typing speed, while slow can be used for stability and avoiding issues such as double typing slash chattering. Navigation keys. This section of navigation keys traditionally located above the arrow keys on larger keyboards can be accessed by pressing the function key in combination with these keys. Open a text document and press function plus version to see which firmware version is installed on the keyboard. The keyboard will type the current version in the document. Depending on compatibility, this key can be used as well to open the menu of the current application. Press function plus the Windows lock to disable the Windows key and avoid unpleasant surprises while gaming. If you prefer using the left Alt key as function instead, and the original function key as an Alt, press and hold the function plus this key for 5 seconds. If you have moved the function key to the left Alt key, and want to switch the function back to the original key, press and hold these keys for five seconds. How to update the firmware on your K5 keyboard. Make sure you download the latest firmware at extrafy.com downloads. You'll find the latest firmware update under Keyboards K5 Compact. Step one, go to the folder for ISO or ANSI, depending on your keyboard's layout. If you're not sure which layout your keyboard has, see this example. Two, connect the keyboard to your PC and open the .exe file inside the folder. The firmware cannot be updated on a Mac. Step three, click update, and then select the .suf file located in the same folder. Step four, done. Whenever you wanna check which firmware version is installed on your keyboard, open a text document and press function plus the version key. Let's assemble our K5 Compact. Start by making sure you have everything you need nearby. Let's start with the base of the keyboard and insert the switches that came with your order. Now let's take out our keycaps. The keycaps come in the layout of your keyboard.
If you ordered multiple colors, get creative and mix and match as you will. Once that's done, let's open up our base frame and simply place it over our base. Don't forget to attach your magnetic plate. Then let's take our cable out and make sure we plug it in. Once you plug your keyboard in, make sure you activate USB 3 mode. Disassembling the keyboard. Start by unplugging the USB-C from the back of your base. Then simply pop off the base frame. Now we're gonna take our Extrify key picker tool. This side is for removing the keycaps. Simply place the tool over your keycap and pull it straight up. Now let's use the switch puller end of the tool. Simply align the pincers with the switch and then pull straight up. 